It is like 7.50 something a.m. Sat on today's Saturday. <laughs> this is 8 o'clock in the morning. Wait, does I feel rain? I feel like it's raining a little bit. Look at the bird bath. Let me get a better grip on my phone. You know, I think that my ADHD issue this week is I'm not exerting enough energy. I'm not... Because I'm so scatterbrained, I'm like struggling. And, you know, it's like I can't focus on watching TV and stuff like that. I just, I don't have the patience for TV. I just, just tell me what's, what the whole thing is and that's good. I don't want to watch people act it out. <laughs> I don't know why. I just don't want to. So I can't, do, and I've been stuck inside. And I think that's what I need to figure out. I'm going to have to do like indoor exercise or something. That doesn't even sound appealing in any way, shape, or form. But everything's looking pretty good. I got a really good sleep. Uh, because my aunt had kept me up the night before and I thought it was because I was so tired all day yesterday that that's why I couldn't focus on anything but I got really good sleep and then I've been up for two hours and I've just been ah, ah, I don't know what to do I don't drink coffee I can't drink coffee oh my goodness can you imagine if I drink coffee insane in the membrane I would lose it i've tried coffee before and um it just makes me feel like the inside of my body wants to jump out of the outside of my body like i just want to jump out and just shed the whole thing and i can't stand it it is so like in my like my skin my whole outside of my body just feels like super sensitive I don't know I don't like it not my thing uh, let's see so this morning it looks like it's gonna rain guess what okay so today is Saturday it says on I swear it's so hard not to hunt down your the weather people and just freak out on them but it says it better happen that on Tuesday, it's going to be 73 degrees. Oh, my goodness. That means shorts and tank top. And, well, and a hat. I'm going to really train. I do wear my sun hats a lot. But I, the beginning of every summer, I uh, have to remind myself I have a hard time training myself so I'm going to really try this year to train myself to to wear my sun hat earlier in the year than what I usually do so I'm going to try to do that and I'm so excited 73 degrees oh my goodness it's like 36 right now and our high today is going to be like 52 with an eight mile an hour wind. <sighs> and then, and look how dark it looks. I think it's going to rain more than, but it's like a little bit sprinkling right now. But I think it's going to rain more. See, there's some um, droplets on. This is the, that's the mother uh, green onion. Those green onions are, like, huge. You know, my hand's not a good rep representation of them. Like, they're, like, a, the size of those bulbs on that, on my ants. I don't know what these are. Yard sticks? I don't know what those are called. 
I like them that they're copper. But, like, if I would have chose them, I wouldn't have done the moon, the sun, moon thingy. I would just want the bulb with the copper ring around it. You know? Because, the reason why is because when I like to buy things, I like to buy them plain. That way, if my style changes or if it doesn't fit in one area, it's, it's more universal. I'm less likely to care about it if it's just themed one way. But if it's very neutral, like I can alter it, I can put this on it or paint it something or do whatever, I love it. Like these boot thingies over here that my best friend Christy gave me, they were like in a like a bunch of it was like in a garbage pile that was going to go to the dump and I saw the boots and I was like no what are those and they're like vases or something but they're really heavy and I don't like really super heavy I like medium heavy vases I don't like metal or anything that's got sharp corners or whatever on my tables because they'll like scratch it just happens. I don't like it. So, they're like, I wanted these as outside things. I just haven't found the right. I have the right color because I love the color. I painted them the right color. But they're just not in the right spot yet. They just haven't found their home yet. But I like them because they're kind of universal. I can, you know, the only thing that's, the only thing that it bothers me is that they're both left feet. What? Like, where's the right feet? And when I looked in a thrift store, I saw another one of the exact same thing um, of one of them I had, but it was just another left foot. So I was like, eh, I don't want it. I don't need a third left foot. That just makes things complicated. I Just two is good. I'm just going to have to figure something really kooky out for it maybe I don't know this bed doesn't really have a theme I don't know it used to be called the peanut gallery because it was shaped like a peanut and then over time it ended up starting to shape like a horseshoe and because my golfing when this is like see that that hole you start from here to play that hole. So you have to ricochet the ball off that particular rock right there so that it shoots up and lands in the hole. And I can't really get it. Well, you shoot from actually right from this position. You're like, actually this position. And then it goes and it ricochets. And then over right here on this grass, I'm going to get more dirt and build like a little burrum type thing that doesn't mess with the long shot from that corner to this corner. Because this is, this is, uh, let me get over here. My golf clubs hang there. My golf stuff is inside the mailbox this mat is usually dry and better okay that you shoot down and the first hole is right there what are you doing boost and then i'm surprised he's up this early he was still in bed when i i've been up and then this spot right here and you go under the green chair for Number two. Number three, I never play number three because I haven't got it leveled out good enough. But number three is going to be somewhere down there where the end of that black fencing is. I got to clean up that mess and then put that dryer thing that I made my daughter have her, my son-in-law 
I've been flipping out about it. Ever since the washer broke down, it wasn't going to be fixed. I mean, the dryer broke down and it wasn't going to be fixed. I wanted the drum out of it. And, like, they didn't want to do it because of the metal Sharpie thing. So now I'm not supposed to mess with it until they can cut that piece off. And they want to put a rubber whatever on it so that I don't, like, accidentally scrape or I don't know. And then I want to put that right where this pile of garbage is that I recently put here. <laughs> and build... This would, you know, some, I'll put the hole number three there. Hole number four, you shoot down here and underneath that flower pot, which is the rosemary, there's a, you know, cup. So that's number four. And then when you come here, five is, oh no, then you come over here. And then five is down here by the um, elephant. I just don't have it the whole in. Because I don't play it after. I usually only play one and two. And then five. Oh, yeah. Six. Because you pick up. I'll, I'll put a hole here. Then you'll pick your ball up out of here. Then this will be number six. We're back to where we started. Six. And then you pick your ball up out of here. I do play six quite a bit because it's a hard one. Seven used to be where this mm, white brick is over there. But I can you can no longer hit that. So I'm going to have to, because I keep changing these two beds this year. So I'm going to have to reevaluate that and try to figure something out for number seven. And then you come over here and then you stand right here. And number eight, there used to be two barrels right here, but I recently moved them. But number eight was in between the barrels. And then you'd go and pick those up. And then this bench used to be right here. See, I did some changing, so I got to rearrange. And then you pick your get your ball, golf balls, and then you'd shoot underneath the bench, and there's a hole, and it's still there. It's just underneath the carpet right now. I just have the carpet because I didn't want the grass to grow up right here. I didn't want it. See, there. It's there. I just didn't want the grass to grow right here after summer, so I just threw the... the these down so that's hole number nine but I wasn't quite done with this side I'm starting to work when I started building my garden if you go way way back to my oldest videos which are a thousand twelve hundred videos I started right right here right here and I've slowly worked my way each year adding more and more this way and then I'll eventually work this way and so forth until it's like really cool. All righty. Well, I'm so glad I stayed focused at least on showing where my golf stuff is, although that really didn't, wasn't gardening. I really am excited about the, oh, the what bird bath thingy that I'm excited about. Okay. So I looked at the dimensions. It's 36 inches tall so it's like you know three feet so it's not that tall so they would only be like I wish they were like really tall like I wanted them to be like five feet six feet but you know three feet I'm still I still want to I just want to I love them it's solar powered I love them and then, but see, then I went and read all the re reviews and it was like re mixed reviews. But one lady, the way she was like writing her review, the, the style of how she talked, um, is kind of like my style. 
a little bit, you know. She liked that they were vintage looking. She took photos of each piece before she assembled it. She said it was really easy to assemble. Um, she sounded more like a realistic, logical person. And that was the review that I believed the most. But I don't know, you know, because like I said, it was mixed. It was literally mixed half and half. I was like, my goodness, this is tough. So I don't know. I'll clip that picture and put the picture up. And please tell me what you think of them because I really want to get two. But I'm going to do the barrel thing because I think it would be realistic and better to take what I items that I have uh, here that I already own and make um, and make the bird bath and then just buy that little seven dollar spinny thing that makes the water go up so that they, that they can you know it keeps the water circulating that that's the solar powered part I want to do that but the barrel thing I'm scared I'm going to need a pump and I just don't know how to work that so I'm going to look at more solar powered stuff because I really feel like I should use what I have I feel like I would be a hundred percent happier if I were able to take what I have and recycle what I have and do it that way. I feel like I will be more, I'm going to like it better than if I, I mean, I think I will still love the other ones. I still want to, but I think that I'll be proud of myself if I do the barrel thing and if I accomplish it. Like, even if I get help from my son and my son-in-law, but the thing is, is if I use the things that I have here, I'll be really super happy with that and proud of myself for, you know, and grateful that my sister Susan, she's the one that went, that's her cell phone picture. Like, she finds little things that are really cool. Like, the two doors that make a bench. Isn't that the cutest bus stop idea? I'm like, oh man, if I, but doors with windows are a thing for me. I want every door that's an outside door to have a window. I'm like obsessed with that. So it's really hard to find that many doors with windows. So I'm always looking for a door with a window because I will just replace another door that I have. <laughs> it's like crazy, but because I like a lot of light. Anyway, that one was so cute for, like, a bus stop. Oh, my goodness. I loved it. Very open, and it was so artsy. She sent me that one, too. She might have been the one that sent me the window greenhouse thingy. I want one of those, too. And I wanted it over here in the corner on the grass, but unfortunately, I can't put it there because... I don't want to make it difficult for me to mow my lawn. Like, I have exactly this much lawn on my side of the fence that I want. That's what I can handle taking care of easily for me. I like that I just mow that little bit. It smells good. I'm, you know, happy when I'm, when I accomplish it. Um, I have to empty the bag twice. That's the only thing. That's because I can't let the bag get too heavy because then I can't move it. And I have to go get one of the boys. So I, I do do it twice. But I like this much. And then, of course, on that side of the yard, because we it's the whole acre is ours. But my son-in-law maintains this side. I maintain this side. But I'm going to tear this fence out because, um, yeah, I don't, I'm not going to tear it out. What I'm going to do is take this fence off. Leave the posts, mow, get my son-in-law to mow in between, get all this down. And then I'm going to put the four-foot fence up, which I'm, oh man, I might have to get different posts. And then I want to put that brown stuff up to, to block it. So that, that way he can just weed it on one side and then it just won't grow through my fence like that. That's what I want to do. Is what I'm looking forward to. I have to go pick up this turtle because see it broke. 
All right, we are 20 minutes into this. Yeah. All right, you guys have a nice day. Bye.